Hello everybody and welcome to the shop. Ten more minutes, prime time, action packed, adventure seeking. Thunder Chief building action. <laughs> What's going on everybody? How y'all doing today? Okay, I got all my parts cut for the wings. Okay, I'm going to set them aside. Got a new plan. Sharp pencil. It's coming here Tuesday. I got to get everything ready for when he gets here. We're going to lay up a set of wings. We're going to mount them. We're going to have this thing sitting on landing gear before he leaves Wednesday. <laughs> so that means I got to make some bulkheads for that. And uh, all that stuff in that wing is good, people. I bolted them parts together. And they are just perfect. One, there's one I got to make a new one of, make it a little bigger. But other than that, we're good to go. Okay, now, I need to make bulkheads for this. Okay. And I just got some other things to show you. Okay. But when Paul came last time, he brought me some templates of the elevator of the bulkhead that goes in the back right here. Well, I cut one out. Bam! Guess what? Fits. Okay. Now, these are going to draw one. There's right and left of these. These are going to bolt on right there. Pretty close. One on each side. And that gives about an inch clearance between the pipe. Yeah, we are going to have a metal horn here. Metal ball links. But them pipes, when the turbine's running, you can put your hand on them pipes, people. I think you got to watch out for it's hot starts. And you need to get it shut down before that gets glowing red hot anyway. <laughs> so, we'll be good. Plus, a lot of the other jets out there got these elevators just as close. You know, all them F-18s out there, everything, man. You just can't get away from it. But uh, we're going to have metal horns and stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, my elevator is going to go right there. And I got a carbon rod. I happen to have a bunch of these that were salvaged out of a couple airplanes. <laughs> we're going to, to make that rudder removable, I would like to put that just right there, but there is no, ac you know, leave this part in the rudder, but there would be no access to tighten these screws, okay, which is no big deal, there's plenty of room. I can turn this around, put it in an elevator, and what I'll do is I'll cut me a slot in this, and this will just be glued in place right there, but before I do that, I got to get this elevator. It fits perfect. What I got to do is uh, put me a hole right where them stabilators go on both sides. Uh, make me a stick that will go all the way through there. Get the right shim blocks to equal this distance right here. And then that will tell me where this goes. Bam. Then this other one will go right in front of it. Now the old Byron way works pretty good. You know, we get, we'll get it fit to where we're going and we can drill some tiny holes just big enough for a piece of wire. That way we can set that in there. We know we got it straight. Put some wires in there that'll hold it in place and we're done. We just fill them little holes. And uh, I got to make another bulkhead in the back of it. It's pretty much the same size, just a little bit thinner. I don't have a template from that. I'm going to have to go by ear. Okay. This bullshit. I had nothing. Okay. I uh, had no drawing of it or nothing. But I cut this. This goes in the back of my wing up to that main spar. So this is where my aluminum's coming, right here, bam, right beside this. So all I gotta do is put that in there, pull it this way, about a quarter, because that's how far I am off the back to allow for all that sheeting and stuff. Bam, put a mark. That's where my main spark's going. Right there. Okay. 
Then I took some of this foam. An exacto knife. This is that Depron foam. And really, people, this is how I did this. I just set this right here and started whittling. See my floor. <laughs> but I got it fit right up to there. Then I knocked that out and retrimmed all of this. But uh, I got it fitting good. Just perfect. See that? You know, that dude fitting good. Okay, so then I just transferred it to a piece of wood. You know, half. Got it on there. Then marked my center lines. Bam, bam. Okay, drew it on a piece of wood. Bam. <laughs> now I had to glue a couple pieces on there and then resand it and I always save them pieces I cut off and stick it in there. So this is just gonna be my template, so it's okay whatever it takes to make it fit. I know I gotta go to there. And it just fits perfect man. I got this thing fitting perfect. But look at this sharp pencil. This is what we got to mount that wing on that right there uh, we might need to mill a whole piece of aluminum that the connectors are actually connected to um, but that's what we got to fasten them main spars man uh, call me after you watch this <laughs> I think a uh, big channel we're gonna have a quarter inch aluminum and a big piece of channel, you know, maybe whittled out a half inch aluminum. That just fit perfect, man. And a couple big bolts, you know, going right through this way so we can put them in, you know. Uh, but it's going to need. Maybe if we take a piece of even three quarter inch aluminum all the way down to here, give it an eighth inch little flange down here for bolts, you know, that we can actually bolt way up into here and just cut out for that hole. Then uh, mill out the flanged area. And that would give that a big old footprint because that's what we're looking for is a big footprint. And then uh, maybe a couple bolts, maybe three. One, two, three. Just going straight into it. Call me when you get this. That's what we got to work with, brother. <laughs> you know. But that's what I've been doing today. And this weekend I'm going to uh, get our gear door things laid up. I'm not, I think I'm going to scratch the mock up. I'm good to go. I know where the gear doors are going, so uh, that's all I got to do is I got to get my gear door, so actually a set of gear doors molded so I can double face tape them in my mold to get my recess, my servo covers, and uh, bam, then my wood should be here Monday, I could have all our wood made, Paul will be here Tuesday, bam, lay up a set of wings. Glue them together Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, pop them out. Bam. Bolt in some landing gear. This bad boy sitting on wheels. That's the plan, Paul. <laughs> you can drag Butch along with you. We might need some guidance on this stuff. <laughs> so, so uh, that's where I'm at, people. It's awful nice out. I think about grabbing that foamy and see if I couldn't chase some planes. That was pretty cool. I seen that. Did you guys see that trainer kind of flash through that camera yesterday? I was going to chase him, but it was kind of an old guy and it was a trainer. And I really didn't want to chase him. But I think about going up there and find someone I could chase around, make some cool videos. And it's only five minutes from the house. And I can be back working on the Thunder Chief. Same Bob time. Same Bob Station.